Welcome to viewers around the world who are joining the Royal Academy of Dance for World Ballet Day 2023. The Royal Academy of Dance is a world leader in dance education, connecting and supporting a community of over 400,000 dancers around the world in more than 80 countries. And we're absolutely delighted to be participating in World Ballet Day 2023. It gives us a chance to show off everything we believe about dance, that it has a transformative power to change lives right around the world. And we've got lots to share with you today. Firstly, we'll be joining Leanne Benjamin and Ellen Newton Severnini, an artist from the Royal Ballet, as they do a coaching session from Act One of Giselle. Then we'll transport you around the world to meet RAD members, students and dancers who will tell you what dance means to them. But firstly, let's join Leanne's coaching session. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Um, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Mum. Um, we were saying it was a little bit like a blind date tonight because I've never worked with Ella before. Um, so this is going to be the first time that we've ever rehearsed together. So take it away, Ella. Ella's learned the steps um, at the Royal Ballet School. Was it a year ago? She learned this, uh, the solo a year ago, but we haven't touched it, so we're gonna have a little, little play with it tonight. Do you, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave the entrance and we're just going to have a little lead in, Andy, before her solo begins. Okay, and we'll stop. Okay, lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> I think the one thing that you should think about is the style. So don't forget it's a romantic ballet and she's a peasant girl. So remember some of the qualities. I'm sure you've done peasants in Giselle. What the style and the quality. So without making it old fashioned, just remind yourself why this ballet is different from any other ballet. Okay, even in the beginning, show me your entrance and bum, 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 bum. So not too upright. I would say a, a tiny little bit more style. That's a little bit more romantic. And then a little bit more romantic with your arms. That's it. And then you can continue the arms. Bum. Don't forget you're doing this solo because you're very, you're, it's joyous. So you should articulate the preparations a little faster and maybe hold the balances a little longer. Just bum, bum, bum. That's it, use the back leg. Bum, bum, arm a little bit too high, yeah. I would say there's, you either, you either bring this arm on the hip or you can bring this in, but not too high with this back arm. It's really this position, but you're in the fondue. That's why it looks a little bit higher. Don't start accentuating the arm. That's it. Ba, ba, ba. That's it. And lovely little beats low and on the ribbons. On, can you do a little bit more on the ribbons? That's it. Bum. Ba, 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 ba. That's it. Okay, next step. Not too high with the arms. That's it. Bum. Yeah, and you can finish that up on the point as well. <coughs> Try the version with the part of array up. And up, try this version, fondue, up, up, fifth. Bum, 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 picked up part of beret. Picked up part of beret, that's it, that's it. Could you give me a little bit more a pulmon on the preparation? It will also help the renversé because if you're too flat, Ella, you've got nowhere to go. If you've got the body, if you've got the ribs twisted a little bit, you can then spend longer on the renversé, holding the ribs. Think Marianella. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I don't mind if you stay down or come up. It's just a little bit more controlled. If you... That's it. Good. That was much better, the ribs. More. 
more, more ribs. We take this a little bit further and then you have a slower rumbesse. That's it. We, that's it. Beautiful. That's it. Fingers. That's it. Dumb. Bum. Uh, 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 arms, not just throw away. Bum. That's it. Bum. Gather the arms. That's it. Bum, bum, and bum. That's it. That's it. Good. I mean, it's beautiful work. <laughs> but just make sure that you're not back. Make sure you take, you go through the position a little more. Through, yep, try it again. Trust yourself, lock your ankle and step out. Ah, uh -uh. stay back a little bit more on your leg. Bum, bum, bum. Nearly, nearly. You know the quality that you're looking for. You just need to find it. Just make sure you step out on your leg so you've got somewhere to ride up to on the back of that leg. Don't rush it. Bum, bum. Bum. Where's that battery? And uh, nearly. Do you see that you're there, you're up instead of going through the position? Think down, put the head down a bit. That's better. Good, 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 good. good. And, I think maybe this position on the flat. That's, yeah, let's do that, okay. Do you want to try your attitude turns now? This is a step that um, you will see practiced endless, for endless hours from every ballerina that does this role. Do you, would you like the music? Andy, could we have just before the second step, please? Settle. Good. Okay, let's stop. Could we have it a little bit slower, just in the transition of the music? Good. And settle. And not bad. Don't forget your downs. Okay, let's have a look. Nice. Good. Okay, let's stop. Good. Turns were great. You're obviously a turner. <laughs> it's great. Very nice. Attitude turn. Just make sure that you direct your foot in the correct place. You're not going too far around the corner. So. Are you doing a pay or a step out? Yes, don't turn, don't turn the left hip too soon. I would hold it a little bit longer and then take the turn, the left ribs a little bit later. Mm. Oh. That's it. And then right on that medital, that's your difficult section, is playing on the metatarsal. Nice turn there. Yay. A little bit, I think you could be even higher on this hip to enable you to play on that foot. Yeah. You see, from my angle, it's very nice. My angle, you're stepping up stage and the attitude turn. If you're going to step up stage, you have to take your left side a little bit quicker. I would try and keep the direction a little bit more to the diagonal on the step. Try it again. And oh, that's it, right up on that leg. Uh, that's correct though, that's correct. Once again, sail around, yeah. Mind your eye line, that's better, that was nicer. Bum, bum. Okay, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's just grit your teeth on that fondue and try and hold. Think of your arms will hold you and up, the, up here at the sides, okay? Good, I thought your turns were great. Really nice. Second side, just show me that left on pirouette again. Nice. 
Can you step out a little bit more on your second? I don't want to throw you off your turns because they're so good. But don't do everything underneath yourself. Step out to it. And you have to get further up on your leg, though. That's it. It's so much nicer than st stepping underneath you. OK, good. And would you like to do your last hops? OK, so let's have the transition. Do you want to do the pirouettes again into the last section? Good. Thanks, Andy. Bit of pause. Yes. Good. 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 Okay, would you like a little bit faster? Thank you. Right hand. Okay. Okay, let's stop. Not bad at all. Just mind this right hand. Don't take the tension in your hops. The hops are really good. Yeah. 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 And anyway, you can always hold your skirt or you can have your hand behind your back or you can do whatever you want there. Okay, but just mind this hand. Last suit new, another, another place where you have to hold your endings. Maybe take the arms up ever so slightly earlier so th they hold into the position. That's it. Can you, can you lock that fifth position, not escape? Step out and then up to it. That's it. Boom. That's it. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Let's just have your double rond de jambe into the end. I won't make you do the hops again. And we'll go into, let's have a look at your last menage. Um, maybe just halfway through the hops and you can just pick it up at the end. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Can you do that, the last circle, the last menage again, and get right up on the back of your legs? I want you to push off that back leg, and I want you to get right up on your foot. You're a little bit back. Bum, bum, like an elastic band with that foot coming into the back of the leg. That's it, that's it. And of course, you can do this with the high leg as well, so but I don't mind, keep, keep it low. Can you do the last circle again? And I'd like it much faster, and I want you to try it by pushing off that back leg and sending this working leg in very, very quickly. Almost springing onto that toe if they're not sore. Just a nice lead in, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Arms. That's it. Good, 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 good. You have to judge how many, I would say one less PK, a little bit more. I, I would love you to hold this position a little bit longer if you can. It's a little bit even. And get there, step out, step out, step out, step out. Hold, hold it, hold it, that's it. Hold it, it's a little bit in between. And step out with that front foot so it allows you to stay in that retiré position once again. We'll just do this last step. Okay, last thing. Up. 
outward, top of the back. That's it. Good. Good. Now shin in. And hold. Good, good. Excellent. Very, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do, do we need to see any more? Or... <laughs> I won't make you go right through the solo again. But it's amazing to see how much articulation you need in uh, all of these solos. Thank you, Mum. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Leanne and Ella, for an exceptional coaching session. Now prepared to be transported across the globe as we hear from RAD teachers, dancers, and students. These people inspire, believe in, and shape the future of dance. And it's our pleasure to be able to share their stories with you today, here on World Ballet Day 2023. 舞蹈对于我来说意味着生命不可缺少的一部分作为RAD的注册教师 对于我来说，舞蹈教学最有趣的就是去了解不同的学生，然后在他们的心中种下一颗热爱的种子。但是他们去探究舞蹈的世界，而且让他们领略到舞蹈所带来的美好。这样的美好，也许是在一次又一次
and also the fact that ballet forms a foundational technique for so many other styles of dance as well. So I hope to remain sort of present in the dance community in Mumbai and in India in general. And I hope to be able to spread my love and passion for dance through the city and through the country as far as I can. And I hope that this also introduces a whole new generation of young dancers to this beautiful dance style so that they can have careers in something that they love as well. What does dance mean to you? It's it's very fun and it seems very hard but it's but it's very cool. Anna? Um, um, I love dancing and it's so much fun. Even if it seems even even if it seems hard dance because when I choose something I really want to My name is Nabila, I'm an adult ballet student from Mass Ballet in Durban, South Africa. As an adult ballet student and medical student, I appreciate the lessons I've learned in both and helps bring balance to my life. Dance to me is like taking a deep breath in when life produces too much carbon dioxide and with its obstacles and stresses. We want to dance deeply and more frequently to reach our optimum. It is a natural process, allowing you to let it flow, be yourself and absolutely free. Happy World Ballet Day from Newcastle, Australia, home of Baby Ballerinas and Co. Hello, I'm Karen Barker Rogers, and I have two adorable baby ballerinas with me this morning. And this one here is Elena. Can you say hi, Elena? And this is Winnie. Hello, everyone. They are ready for their ballet class today, and they would like to show you their favourite ballet step. Winnie, could you go to the bar and show us your ballet step? And, oh, that is beautiful. What is it called, Winnie? Um, is that a plie? A plie. And how long have you been dancing, Winnie? For two. Two years. Do you love ballet? It's very good, isn't it? And Elena, what's your favourite ballet step? You come and show us at the bar. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? And what are you going to do with those beautiful toes of yours? It gives, show, show me that beautiful pointed foot. That is beautiful. All the way down to those toes, Elena. How long have you been dancing, Elena? Do you look at... Five years. Five years. How old are you, Elena? I'm young. Five. Well, you were very young when you started. Come over here. You've got beautiful points and plies. And I think it's time to say goodbye. And remember, never miss a chance to dance. Lots of love from baby ballerinas. Blow your kisses to everyone. That's the girls.
dance is a way to express myself and I find it really enjoyable. Acts of Performing Arts has done a charity concert called Dances of Time. It was inspired by Salvador Dali's sculpture, Dance of Time. I found Marinata training before the session today. And she took me to some of the experiences that she encounters with the children on a day-to-day -day basis. And also the vision that she wants to achieve with the children of Nyumba Toto. Listen to what she had to say. Well, I think that uh, ballet is fun but it's also a, can be a tool for keep the children um, you know uh, discipline that is not easy especially when they are very young but also it gives them um, good emotions and strength and uh, they learn to work uh, as a, a team they respect the others and they also respect themselves so I think uh, it's a really really good thing that they are doing this uh, ballet class ballet. thank you Mama Renata for teaching us ballet I love ballet so much since this started that ballet I love it so much and I also love the uniform which you brought to, for us they are very nice. In my future, I would like to, to become a ballet dancer. I would also like to teach the others ballet. Thank you, Mama Renata. I love you very much. Okay. Happy World Ballet Day from Cameron Ballet Academy. For many of us here in New Zealand, it's exam time. Uh, and as an RAD teacher, it's really rewarding to see the development in a young student. But more importantly, uh, it's wonderful to see them grow in confidence and simply enjoy their dancing. It gives value and meaning to what we do as teachers. It is particularly special when a student reaches advanced two level and even more memorable to have been present with them throughout their ballet journey. Reaching exam day is an achievement in itself. It's an incredibly rewarding moment for both teacher and student. and I do year one of GCSE dance with the RAD. 
For me, dance is a place where I get to enjoy myself and express my emotions with other people who also enjoy and love dance. It's also a place where you can express your feelings, try new styles, try new techniques without being judged for it because everyone is there to get better and for the same reasons which is to enjoy themselves. Throughout the years, dance has helped me in so many ways and I'm so grateful for all of my opportunities. In my local community, dance helps to bring together the thoughts of overall happiness and well-being.